All right, time for a nice uh, dry episode about numbers. Um, basically, uh, I <laughs> saw the trends today and uh, unemployment was there. And I knew I was going to catch a doozy. Um, but basically, there's a bunch of fucking liberals uh, praising Biden and his uh, jobs that he made. And and I sort of I sort of scrolled for a bit to see if I could find like the biggest fucking stupid example that was out there. And um I'll tell you, it didn't take long because <laughs> this nice cancerous piece of shit was right here for me. <laughs> Tony Hussein 4. I've never heard of this guy in my life, but he has uh, 39.9 thousand followers on this fucking platform. Um, which are totally not bots, like the uh, 80% of Twitter that is bots uh, that, that's that been uncovered recently, right? Totally not bots. The, and this guy's not a bot, too, either. He's Tony, hashtag blue wave, American flag. Um, not like there was a big share blue scandal that most of the people who cried about Russiagate ignored, and not like there's a great video by Peter Coffin about how liberal nationalism is bad, okay? Right? Not like there's any of that. But, just to be clear, um, this video is about the numbers. Um, so I decided to look into these numbers and found out that yet again, fucking PolitiFact agrees with me. Um, because I knew these numbers were bullshit. I know that Biden didn't add 10 million jobs, um, and that, <laughs> uh, this is yet another instant of central planners taking credit for other people doing things. Uh, so let's just get into this uh, a little bit on its own, right? Uh, cause I, I feel like this is one of those examples where, it's pretty clear cut that this is propaganda. So the first thing you need to know about these numbers is that they are incomplete. <laughs> and that uh, they are incomplete in that they only state um, non-farm. And it said it at the, bo the bottom of his, his, his image that this was the source they were going by. So... This is non-farm, and what that means is that it excludes proprietors, private ho household employees, unpaid volunteers, farm employees, and the unincorporated self-employed, right? This measure accounts for approximately 80% of the workers who contribute to gross domestic product. So none of the people who do their income untaxed or... Um, none of the people who, uh, like, did low enough that they're not contributing to the gross domestic product, right? This is just, um, anybody who isn't a proprietor, anyone who isn't a private household employee, anyone who, uh, isn't an unpaid volunteer, a farm employee, or the unincorporated self-employed. So, basically, there are a shit ton of small businesses that this doesn't account for. That being 20% of the total jobs in the country. So, those things could have been completely fucking tanked. Potentially, you know, reversing this number entirely. But we don't get to hear about that in the propaganda that Twitter wants to shove down everyone's throat. Um... And that also all other social media is basically following suit with. Because keep in mind, they like invested heavily in this guy. They're not going to waste an opportunity to suck his cock. Um, even if he forgets that they're doing it and asks, why are you here? What are you doing on it? Um, <laughs> so, uh, this is incomplete numbers. And it's been generally rising... For many years. So, what? We're supposed to say that because 
these numbers have been rising for many years, but that they rose again under uh, Biden, that's an evidence like of his economic success, of his awesome might as a central planner and a president, right? Well, I fucking don't. And I think personally that we should look at some other numbers, um, you know, about what happened to the rest of the economy, maybe. So let's uh, let's just have a gander just real quick first at uh, PolitiFact and their analysis of Tony's numbers, because Tony's numbers got some cooked books on them. And uh, PolitiFact, which is all supported by like, you know, the state and the elites and the globalists, even they say his numbers are bullshit. And that these numbers are bullshit and that they didn't actually add like 10 million jobs to the economy because of Biden. That he's taking credit for shit that didn't even happen and wasn't his doing. So let's just get into that and find out how wrong Tony is. The American Rescue Plan helped create ten, nearly 10 million new jobs. Mostly false. Um, so you scroll down and you get to it, and it's, uh, economists agree that the American Rescue Plan probably helped boost job creation, but they say it doesn't deserve credit for all of the 10 million jobs created on Biden's watch. Even if the law were somehow responsible for every job created following its passage, that would cover only 7.8 million jobs, not 10 million. Factoring in what the CBO projected for natural job gains in the American Rescue Plan had never passed, the law might be responsible for 1.6 million jobs so far. Maybe. So, these 1.6 million jobs couldn't possibly be federally supported jobs designed to cover for the fact that the economy was absolutely fucked into the dirt by a wide variety of central planning actions, right? You know? It can't possibly be that. He added these numbers if you ignore non-farm job numbers. And if you ignore a bunch of other numbers, which I'm about to bring up. But I feel like it's, it's necessary to bring this up because if PolitiFact, who hates people like me, agrees with me about Biden... Perhaps you should, like, understand that this is not real and that they've been on the rise since 2020 and that their ruling says that uh, maybe he helped with 1.6 million, but it's only about boosting job creation. It's not about... <laughs> creating 10 million jobs that never happened and let's talk about some of the jobs he wants to push because i think it's important to bring this up uh so here is a nice chart here uh in addition to well a nice post here anyway in addition to that chart which was already proven wrong in this video here's a here's a nice tweet here ways biden disagrees that black lives matter is a crime bill, the Patriot Act. Uh, he doubled counterinsurgency police funding. He pushed for virus stimulus spending to go to cops. He already upped the cop budget thirty billion to, in 2022. Wants thirty two billion more now and thirty billion over a decade for safer America. And why? Well, because he wants to hire a huge fucking amount more cops, because. Biden is a liar, and he does nothing but help cops. If you think Black Lives Matter, you can't support Biden or Kamala. His crime bill, support of wars, and more, and her locking up of poor families and truant kids are anti-black, so is this stuff. And what this stuff is, is a bunch of charts. How he gave $4 billion to the police, how he doubled funding for a police hiring program, um, how he's responsible for more uh, fucking uh, military equipment on civilian roads, how he, he boosted fucking funding for cops with COVID funds, how he 
said that it's Republicans trying to defund the police. He just loves him some cops, and he already did before Safer America, which is $30 billion more to cops. So he's giving cops a fuck ton more jobs. That's what he's doing. And while he does that, um, there are growing inequalities. And the gap between productivity and a typical worker's compensation has d increased dramatically since 79. Productivity growth and hourly compensation growth from 1948 to 2019 has seen a 159.7% increase versus 113.7% increase in wages. So the people are working harder and pr producing a better product that sells better and getting less money every year for it. And let's look at another number <laughs> and look at the fact that the pandemic in the U.S. fucking resulted in a net loss of small businesses. Oh, but a lot of these are non-farm, so we won't count those. <laughs> and, uh, and while it was doing that, the U.S. billionaires got 62% richer during the pandemic, and they're now up $1.8 trillion. And, and while that's happening, oh, would you look at that? The inequality.org uh, report here says that billionaire wealth is up $1.7 trillion as U.S. passes 1 million COVID deaths milestone, and it goes over that Jeff Bezos got, like, you know... 40 billion extra that Bill Gates got like uh, 30 billion extra and the Walton family of Walmart have gotten like 40 billion too like it's almost like this whole thing was designed to fucking transfer wealth isolate power in the hands of corporations so that they're the only ones you can work for and so that while they're doing all of that uh, they can kill the small businesses that wouldn't be okay with a transfer to the great reset plan of like a global contact free CBDC system empowered by people like Elon Musk might I add and and what while, while we're going over that let's also go over the fact that um you know Kramer uh was already talking in 2021 about how this whole pandemic thing was going to be the greatest wealth transfer in history. That it, that it would have a horrible effect on the country. Because all of these things were basically designed to kill the poor and empower the rich, which CBDC will also do. As those of you who have done the base thing and liked, shared, and subscribed at one point uh, can attest... That's what's happening. It's bad for poor people and good for rich people. And how good for rich? Oh, well, maybe the fact that... <laughs> the fact that the global rich are, are just so much fucking richer than the global poor. And the richest 1% of the world's population is so much wealthier than the poorest half. 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 Versus 1% that the top 1% of the column doesn't fit on the fucking graph they made at the IMF from the World Inequality Report by the World Inequality Lab. This is what they wanted. They wanted more power in their hands and less power in your hands. It's what it's always been about. And while they've been doing that, they've also, uh, you know, gotten a few more jobs, maybe. <laughs> and, and, you know... Maybe, maybe you're okay with all that. I'm not. But while they're doing all of it, they also so happen to, you know, have increased things like this. You know, and, and, and had, had a fucking great inflation surge because tanking the value of the American dollar uh, and then creating jobs to paper it over isn't, isn't at all what the government always does, even though it fucking is. And this is definitely just their normal pattern. Um, you know, that's not what they do. The U.S. government is good. They, they didn't do anything wrong. You know, just accept that, that you have less purchasing power. 
that you won't be able to have like social security because it'll probably be gone by the time you're old just accept that if you're born in you know millennials plus that gen x and below fucked you out of good houses um or houses at all a good economy anything really that that would be a, a marker of the american dream in action upward mobility fertility rate is tanking suicides are up but it's fucking awesome here because biden added 10 million jobs that he can't prove he added right tony but well um well i'm i'm agreeing with tony over here totally agreeing with him totally not disagreeing with this blue waver who's you know parroting the mainstream agenda while i'm totally not disagreeing with this guy i might as well bring up something that he probably fucking loves which is you know oh defense stocks are beating the s p 500 this year amid the ukraine war what's this lockheed martin raytheon <laughs> northrop grumman general dynamics they're all outperforming the s p bae systems boeing they're doing it too because the u.s government keeps on pumping money into those jobs in the military industrial complex because they keep on doing that so that they can send those weapons that were built by the u.s military industrial complex to ukraine almost like war is a racket almost like a wartime economy is a racket and almost like declaring war on covid didn't help any of that oh shucks i must have just slipped of the tongue it sounded like i disagreed with tony and i would never do that i would never disagree with the biden administration or their bullshit numbers and you shouldn't either disagree with me by not hitting that like button that share button subscribe definitely don't check out my email newsletter or anything like that you know um if you want to agree with people like tony stick with him i'm sure that he gives you plenty of reasons that we definitely shouldn't smash the fucking state.